HR 3339, the National Infrastructure Bank Act of 2021, that's going to create millions of permanent high paying jobs. It is modeled on previous public banks, which helped build much of our nation's infrastructure. Under President George Washington, James Madison, John Quincy Adams, Abraham Lincoln, and Franklin Roosevelt, those banks helped finance the roads, bridges, canals, schools, hospitals, power systems, and railroads that made our nation the envy of the world. In fact, the last public bank, along with other sound policy initiatives, helped bring us out of the Great Depression and win World War II. The National Infrastructure Bank, new bank, would operate much like previous public banks. It would be capitalized with existing privately held treasury bonds, exchange for preferred stock in the bank. Budget outlays covering a portion of investors, that is stock dividend, will be fully reimbursed from the bank's earnings set stream. As such, the bank will be budget neutral, require no new taxes, and create no new federal debt. It will have the authority to lend up to $5 trillion for urgently needed projects across the nation at very low interest rates. It is a complementary policy initiative to President Biden and Vice President Harris's proposal and the new Democratic House majority legislative package to build back better our nation's infrastructure and to make life better for people in America. So I want to thank my colleagues, Representative Bobby Rush, Represent Jesus Garcia and Representative Mondeer Jones for co sponsoring HR 3339, the National Infrastructure Bank Act of 2021. Additionally, the state and local municipalities current and former elected officials that are in support of this bill.